And uh, Fernando, we are recording it. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, sure. No problem. <clears throat> I think Joey will allow, let people in. I think that's the protocol. And uh, should uh, the panelists uh, unmute themselves I, as uh, Fernando speaks? I think we should be, unless we want to speak, it's better if we're muted. If we, so we unmute, our, sorry, we mute ourselves and he remains unmuted. Obviously. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I have moved the people up to the panelists stage. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yes, I see the panel. And uh, it's 8.32, so should we start now? <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm ready. As far as I'm concerned, uh, it's okay with it. Okay, uh, Albert, are you going to uh, introduce uh, <coughs> the, the seminar series and, and Fernando? <clears throat> um, I'll let you introduce Fernando. Let me just say a few words of welcome. So why don't we start, everybody? Uh, good evening here and maybe good morning or afternoon wherever you are. Uh, my name is Albert Park. I'm the um, uh, former director of the HKUSD Institute for Emerging Market Studies, which is uh, organizing this uh, webinar series on the very interesting topic on targeting and community networks in anti-poverty programs. I've done a lot of research myself on poverty alleviation programs in China, so it's a topic close to my heart. I was the director of HKSD when they agreed to support this seminar, but have since stepped down and I'm now the head of the economics department. We've uh, recently supported the establishment of a new center for economic policy. And one of the programs under that new center is the Development Economics Action Research Program, which Sujata leads. And this seminar really fits well into the scope of issues being addressed by this uh, new program uh, as well. It's also great to co-organize this with Dilip. Um, truth be told, Sujata and Dilip did all of the work. I'm listed as a co-organizer, uh, but Dilip is a valued friend of our university. He's a senior visiting fellow of our Institute for Advanced Study and a member of the advisory board of our new center. Uh, so with that, let me turn it back to Dilip to introduce uh, the first speaker. Thank you, Albert. Uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, kick off the seminar series. Uh, Albert, Sujata, and I have been talking about it for two years almost, and we were supposed to have a live conference, which unfortunately could not be held. Uh, but this is the next best alternative. And the advantage is that you know we have a global reach here, so people from all over the world can participate. Uh, so in some ways, it may be even better in terms of uh, outreach. Uh, so it's wonderful to have everybody in the audience present today and my great pleasure to introduce my very old friend, Fernando Vega Redondo, who uh, is a very distinguished network theorist, uh, but he has been uh, uh, engaged in this very ambitious project on taking theory to the field, literally, in Africa over many years. And we're very excited to hear Fernando talk about his project. Fernando, uh, uh, you have an hour, 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, the rules uh, of the seminar are, uh, this is just going to work like a regular seminar. So uh, uh, I, anybody in the audience can uh, raise their hand and uh, I, Fernando, either Fernando or I will uh, ask you to, uh, to, uh, to speak up, uh, uh, but uh, in case, um, in case uh, you know, we've accidentally overlooked you, then just feel free to, uh, to, to, to say so in chat. And uh, so, okay. Uh, and we will go for one hour, 15 minutes in free flowing format with Fernando. And then at the end, if we have some time left over, uh, we'll have some free flowing discussion at that point. All right, Fernando, all yours. Thank you very much, uh, Dilip. So uh, probably I should uh, share my screen. Let me see if uh, this works. Uh, okay, 
So it's, you can see it now? Yes, we can see it. Okay, let me go to the beginning. Okay, here it is. Okay, let me see. Okay, so um, thank you very much, uh, Dilip. Uh, it's a real pleasure to um, uh, give this seminar uh, 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 in this series. Uh, indeed, it would have been uh, uh, nicer in some dimensions, at least to do it live. Uh, it couldn't be for a number of reasons. And, uh, and this is certainly a very good uh, alternative. Uh, and uh, as, as uh, Dilip was, uh, and I thank, uh, of course, very much uh, for the invitation, uh, which is a real uh, honor and privilege okay, to uh, be able to speak uh, to uh, uh, all of you about this project that has been uh, going on for quite some time, as Dilip was mentioning. Um, the, um, uh, so this is the, this is the uh, title of the talk. It's about uh, peer networks and entrepreneurship. And it is uh, um, a, a experiment, uh, an RCT uh, uh, developed at the whole uh, uh, level of uh, Africa. Uh, as Dilip was mentioning, I'm a theorist, but I have been very interested in, in uh, bringing these uh, uh, questions to the field. Uh, to say that uh, I'm bringing the theory to the, to the experiment is uh, uh, a little bit too much. That's what I would have liked to do, but uh, it's still far from that. But uh, it's an experiment that uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, um, uh, feed into uh, research that will uh, be theoretical and will uh, in turn feed back into the uh, uh, experimental work uh, later on. So uh, it's uh, joined with a, a long list of people uh, <clears throat> because it is very multi-sided, this, uh, this research. So then uh, different types of expertise are involved uh, from uh, different parts, from Bocconi, from the World Bank, from Harvard, and from the European Commission. You have the list there of, uh, of uh, co-authors. Uh, so let me start um, by uh, briefly motivating uh, the uh, project. So entrepreneurship, of course, is a very important phenomenon. And it's uh, uh, about many things, but at least three of them. It's about credit and investment. It's about training and managerial skills. And it's about, uh, of course, ideas, no? having ideas and innovate. Um, there is quite some literature on uh, how credit uh, availability and investment or training bears on entrepreneurship. There is not so much about uh, how ideas uh, arise, uh, which of course are the fuel of innovation. Um, and uh, talking about uh, innovation, uh, it is uh, widely uh, accepted that networks, peer networks, are very um, uh, are very important for that. Okay, but uh, this claim uh, is often uh, just uh, heuristic uh, uh, or based in very small scale uh, and informal evidence. So our aim here is to formulate and test this hypothesis. Uh, uh, rigorously and uh, mm, um, test it in a large scale set. Okay? Uh, why large scale? Uh, uh, in fact, as I was mentioning, it's uh, done at the African continental level. Well, for, for two reasons, statistical and practical. Statistical because large scale allows uh, 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 power, the statistical power. And also uh, practical because uh, we want uh, these insights to the extent possible to be policy relevant and of course, the larger the scale in which they can be implemented, the more policy relevant it is. Um, this is a project that uh, we labeled, uh, named uh, Adansonia, okay, for reasons that perhaps I can explain at the end. Um, uh, it's a, a, a Pan-African uh, RCT that involved uh, uh, around 5,000 entrepreneurs from four, uh, 49 different countries, uh, uh, interacting under various conditions. Let me uh, outline very roughly uh, the intervention so that you can get a, a, an overview of what uh, we are after. Um, um, uh, first, of course, uh, entrepreneurs were recruited and we use for that social media, innovation hubs, local partners. All of them uh, that were recruited and registered into the experiment were uh, asked to follow a business course uh, that we designed for the purpose offered by Bocconi. And in parallel to it, to this business course, those that were treated, the treatment involved being randomly assigned to groups, groups of 60, where uh, they interacted in different ways. There were basically three arms. 
face to face. Let me see if I can. Can you can you see the the? Um, let me see if I can. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Face to face. Uh, can you see the the my underlining? Yes. Okay. Face to yes. face. Uh, which was uh, took place in Uganda. Uh, of course, this was restricted to be uh, uh, in a location for, for obvious reasons, in, the interaction was face to face. Then virtual within, which was, uh, uh, which was uh, uh, what we labeled the arm where the groups were uh, uh, nationally homogeneous. They were all the same nationality, okay? And they, of course, were from people uh, uh, of uh, big countries uh, that were big enough to have uh, such homogeneous groups uh, uh, in the and then there was another uh, arm that we call virtual across, in which these groups of interaction were of uh, heterogeneous nationalities uh, from uh, all countries in proportion to their uh, size. So after three months of uh, interaction and the course, all entrepreneurs were asked to submit a proposal, which was then in turn evaluated and ranked by professionals on one stage, on the first stage, and then investors, venture capitalists and the like in a second stage. We study uh, 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 a number of dimensions. So, so uh, uh, the, the outcomes that we are interested in are multidimensional. So on the one hand, we are interested uh, as a very basic question on what is the effect of the treatment on the performance. And the performance here uh, involves two dimensions, which is the uh, probability of submission, okay, the tendency for uh, the entrepreneurs to submit, because of course not all eventually submitted, and then once they submitted, what was the effect on the quality of the business proposal they submitted? So this is the effect of the treatment on these uh, two outcomes, submission and project quality. We were also interested uh, we, uh, on understanding how the interaction took place by studying the peer networks. They induce endogenous networks that were formed as part of the communication within each group and what were the entailed peer effects and the uh, communication that uh, uh, ensued. And uh, since everything all along the way was uh, recorded, also communication, the messages was recorded exhaustively. So then we could also conduct an exhaustive semantic uh, NLP, natural language processing analysis of the messages, uh, uh, attempting to understand really what was um, uh, flowing through the channels of communication uh, that uh, uh, peers used to uh, uh, communicate, okay? So there are these three dimensions that we uh, were interested in. So uh, a very brief uh, uh, and informal advance of the uh, results, or at least of some of the results, just in case I cannot uh, elaborate on all of them um, uh, in the time available. So uh, what do we find? Well, we find first that uh, the virtual within interaction and the face-to-face -face interaction. And I remind you, virtual within is the virtual interaction that uh, takes place. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned, I didn't mention, but it was probably uh, implicit, that when uh, all the non-face-to-face -face interaction, which was the bulk of what was taking place, was done um, uh, virtually through a platform that we designed for the uh, experiment, okay? so. Uh, with this clarification, the virtual within uh, uh, is the, I remind you, is the uh, uh, arm where the groups were of the same nationality. So virtual within and face-to-face -face interaction uh, uh, enhances entrepreneurial performance in the sense that it increases the rate of submission and it increases the quality of the uh, business project submitted. Uh, that's one first observation uh, or result. Uh, which doesn't happen for the virtual across uh, interaction where the groups were of mixed nationalities. Then about the network, we find that despite these different effects of the treatment on performance, the network did have an effect in all arms. So peer influence for the positive or for the negative was significant, significant, significant uh, sorry, uh, in all three virtual arms virtual within for large countries, virtual across for large countries, virtual across for small countries. And then uh, uh, concerning the uh, communication, the NLP analysis finds that the modes of communication that take place in the different arms are highly correlated with performance, okay? Uh, which is interesting and an indication that really the analysis of communication is uh, useful and insightful, okay? Uh, of course, about all this, I will be uh, um, explaining things in detail. This is just a very high level description of the results or of the sort of results that we will be getting uh, at the end of the day, okay? 
the literature, um, there is uh, quite a lot of literature uh, uh, in the network uh, uh, arena uh, um, that tries to, to, to uh, set light on uh, three key dimensions that are important in our uh, experiment, uh, cooperation, competition, and diffusion of learning. There's a lot of work on network theory, on network uh, science about uh, these three phenomena, cooperation, competition, and diffusion, mostly theoretical, but there is no uh, really satisfactory uh, theory that integrates these three perspectives, all of them uh, being very important for the phenomenon at hand, entrepreneurship. So we need to integrate them. And the hope is that uh, this experiment will provide empirical evidence that will help into this integration. Uh, there is some uh, empirical work, recent empirical work, uh, about how manager peer interaction, peer interaction among managers affects business practices and performance. For example, there is a, a work by Marcel Fafchamp and uh, Queen, uh, which uh, studies how one-time interaction among managers uh, has a significant improvement on business practices, okay? Um, um, uh, well, sorry does not have a significant improvement in business practices, but it fosters registration. So it has a, a, an effect on registration when the entrepreneurs uh, uh, considered are entrepreneurs that uh, often are not registered formally. Um, then there is uh, more recent work by Kai and Style, which uh, has studied how face-to-face -face interaction, monthly interaction among established entrepreneurs, or, the, or then of course registered entrepreneurs in China, improves business outcomes. Um, uh, in contrast with this uh, uh, work, uh, what is uh, what we do? Well, our focus is on innovation, not so much management practices. We are concerned with the scalability of the intervention, and we are very concerned in understanding the network that underlies the uh, uh, phenomenon of peer uh, influence and peer um, uh, interaction. Okay, so uh, uh, innovation, scalability, and network based are the trademarks of what we want to do in this uh, experiment uh, in contrast with existing literature. Let me um, uh, uh, move on to uh, describe uh, very briefly uh, the experimental uh, design. Um, so the, as I was advancing, treated entrepreneurs interacted in groups of 60 for two and a half months uh, in face-to-face uh, -face, uh, meetings. In this case, were taking place every two weeks for a whole afternoon or virtually through this platform I was uh, mentioning. Uh, and in the virtual interaction, there were two types of uh, uh, um, uh, setups. One was the virtual within setup where the groups were of the same nationality. And the other one was virtual across where the groups were of diverse nationality. And in this uh, uh, arm, there were both large and small country individuals. So graphically, uh, you can see the design in this uh, uh, diagram. So you see uh, uh, in Uganda, uh, we had uh, 568 entrepreneurs and there were uh, three uh, uh, conditions, control, virtual within and face-to-face. -face. The large countries, there were uh, 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 one third of uh, uh, well, uh, 3,300 uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, and there we had control, virtual within, so groups of homogeneous nationality, virtual across as well. And in small countries, we had only control and virtual across. So why, why this design? Because we wanted to, to on the one hand, uh, contrast the effect of virtual within, virtual interaction, and face-to-face. -face. For this, for this uh, was the uh, arm in Uganda, OK? Uh, and of course, relative to control. Then for the large country arm, uh, we wanted to understand uh, uh, how the two types of virtual interactions within and across compare relative to control, naturally. And then uh, by the uh, last uh, uh, arm in small countries virtual across, we wanted to understand, comparing virtual across in small and virtual across in large countries, how the size of the countries could affect the results, OK? Um, OK. so. Let me first, then, let me then just go uh, on to the uh, describing the first part of the analysis that is concerns the treatment effect, the uh, analysis of the, uh, what is the effect of the treatment on the performance. So uh, what we uh, uh, consider uh, uh, econometrically 
is uh, an ordered probit uh, of the, the following form where uh, uh, we have um, the yi star being a latent outcome variable for uh, either summation or quality, the two measures of performance that we are uh, interested. And the regressors are, well, the treatment, dummy for treatment, a dummy for uh, virtual within arm, when there are more than uh, one arms uh, in that setup, then there are uh, baseline, baseline outcomes uh, for uh, performance uh, 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 considered as well, and then a number of uh, covariates. Uh, the standard errors uh, in this uh, regression uh, are always clustered at the uh, group level for obvious reasons, and we consider also uh, different exercises of robustness that we're not going to consider here. So let me just then first go to the uh, uh, Do you have a question? Uh, yes, I was wondering. So you're looking at at, at submission and quality. Uh, uh, I'm not sure when the experiment was conducted and whether you have any other follow up uh, uh, outcomes, whether they were funded and what happened to their projects, how successful the projects yes. were. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we do have, uh, we do have uh, uh, um, follow up about uh, uh, funding, no, not beyond, and um, the, well, uh, we, but we haven't done any systematic analysis of it uh, uh, yet, okay? Um, uh, so, that, so basically, what I'm going to describe today has uh, uh, finishes at the uh, uh, evaluation stage. And uh, how? What is the metric for quality? I will. I will. I will explain. I will explain. Okay. 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 I, haven't, yeah. I haven't yet. No. No. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, I will explain. Okay. Um, so first for submission. Okay. So uh, we, here we have uh, three panels: the Uganda, the Uganda panel, the uh, panel with large countries, uh, uh, where they have uh, there are uh, some that are in the virtual within treatment and others that are in the virtual across treatment, and then the panel of uh, small countries. Okay. So um, here I am going to, uh, I, I, I was, um, we are considering two sub samples. One is the full sample and another is what I call uh, M0 completers. Okay, so this is just uh, uh, referring to a subset of the, of the original sample, which was determined before the experiment had started, which uh, includes those that uh, conducted all the steps, preliminary steps on time and we, call, and we interpret them to be particularly motivated uh, participants, okay? So these are what, they, what we call the MC completers. They are around 60% of the full sample. Okay, so let me just focus my analysis on this because that's where the effects are strongest. And then you see that uh, the effects uh, on submission are uh, uh, significant as Martin Green uh, for face-to-face, um, uh, uh, in Uganda and virtual within in the large country sample. They are not significant uh, in uh, uh, all other uh, cases, okay? Um, now, how do we interpret uh, this? Uh, well, we interpret this first uh, when we look at the Uganda sample uh, as indicating that face-to-face uh, -face, uh, uh, interaction is uh, stronger than virtual within. A virtual within does not appear significant, but this we see is, uh, in, is mostly a consequence of the fact that in Uganda we have a small sample. When we bring, bring virtual within to the large sample of large countries, then it turns out to be significant as compared to virtual across, okay? So uh, uh, whereas uh, in the virtual across uh, treatment, uh, we don't find neither for large or small countries a significant effect, okay? Uh, this is the this is what's uh, what's uh, uh, here in this column, and then on the uh, right of that we have the marginal effects of the probit. So here is just a dichotomic probit eh, because it is uh, uh, either no submission or submission. Okay. Fernando, there's a question. Yeah. Yes. Um, Oriana. Hi. Hi. Uh, the M zero completers. Do they know which treatment they're assigned to when they decide whether to complete the steps? No, the, 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 these steps that are completed before randomization. Okay. 
So this is the, the so therefore being part of the of this subsample is purely exogenous to the to the treatment. To the yes to the treatment. Okay. Can I I have okay. sorry, I have a question. Yes. Um what is the purpose that they are told for being in these groups? Uh, are they all competing with each other for funding or are they expected to form teams we together? Are, yes. Uh -huh. we, are we, we are not, uh, we're not very, very clear about this. What we say is that uh, this is an opportunity that we, we are bringing, we are offering them to uh, uh, interact with peers and improve their business, uh, uh, their business uh, projects. And that eventually the best of them will be uh, given the option of uh, presenting the projects to uh, investors who will uh, evaluate them and fund those that uh, are uh, they find worthwhile uh, fund. Okay, this is the only this is the only uh, information they give. Okay? We give them. Okay, so we are uh, uh, we are emphatically, of course, uh, uh, insisting that this is something potentially very very good for them. Uh, but what we describe is just uh, what I just mentioned, okay? An opportunity to interact with peers, the uh, uh, idea that this interaction will be beneficial for uh, them to produce good uh, business uh, uh, projects, and that indeed at the end of the uh, experiment, those that are evaluated uh, positively, or the, but those that are evaluated uh, uh, best, will be uh, given uh, uh, the possibility of uh, being funded by the uh, uh, partner investors into the intervention. Are they allowed to form teams among themselves and to, to submit well, jobs? They, they, uh, uh, the, the presentation, the submission of the proposals is individual, okay? So we are not allowing uh, joint proposals. Uh, once they are part of the, of the interaction, they, uh, they are in this platform, okay? And they can communicate with whoever they want, okay? There are channels uh, that uh, are uh, global channels in which everyone has access. Then they can build a specific channels to talk with one or several of their uh, peers, okay? So they are, there is full flexibility on their part to how they want to implement the communication with their peers. But eventually the submission is individual. So should I think of the people who are at, who are the very best entrepreneurs as having no incentive to communicate with the others because well, they that's a, that's a, that's an issue of course yes yes oh. yes yes that's an issue there is a, there is the that's what I mentioned that here there are three three aspects that are very important in this in this phenomenon one is that there might be some cooperation that there is for sure some competition mm -hmm. okay and that there is some learning okay competition is a, certainly a very important aspect. Uh, that, uh, uh, like in so many other aspects of life, okay, there is competition and cooperation, and somehow, depending on the setup, we are able to manage it well, okay, but there's a tension, and this is a very important uh, part of the story that we want to understand, okay? Thank you, yeah. Because, of course, even if they are not part of the same country, for example, or even a part of the same sector, they are competitors in the sense that they are competing for funding, okay? So even in that, so just in that respect, they must think of themselves as competitors to some extent. Okay. Anyway, so let me just proceed. But now, in, in, the, in the same in the same vein, just on the competition team, uh, what information do they have about the pool uh, in their in their in their group? Is there any way that they can calibrate how good they are relative to anybody else in that pool? No, they are not uh, given any information whether the pool will be involved people only from their own country. Uh, of the same age or the same sector, nothing. I mean, they just know that this is a, a, an intervention at the African level, so they, they would not be surprised to finding people from other countries okay, in the group, naturally. But other than that, we, in fact, uh, uh, we are asking them not to reveal any details like gender or things like that, okay? They are given usernames that are anonymous, and um, from what we see, they follow that, uh, that, uh, that suggestion, okay? They don't really reveal the, sort of information okay um okay now let me just go because this is something that you asked Dilip, uh, the quality how do we uh, get quality okay uh, uh, of course it's a very important uh, um, question and um, so well what we do is the following so once uh, we at the end of the intervention we have the proposals uh, uh, being submitted we uh, conduct a, a two-tier uh, evaluation first the proposals, all of them are evaluated in the scale from one to five, 
by a panel of 15 African experts, which are uh, essentially professionals from investment firms or entrepreneurial hubs from different parts of Africa. The top 600 of them, uh, of these proposals, are then sent in the second tier of the evaluation procedure to venture capitalists and other investors who conduct then uh, another evaluation and then uh, decide which of the uh, entrepreneurs they want to contact further for follow-up and potential uh, investment, okay? So uh, we are going to focus uh, on the uh, measure of quality as given by this ranking, this one to five ranking. Uh, we're going to focus on that uh, uh, as uh, provided by the uh, experts in the first tier, okay? In the uh, panel of uh, African experts that I was mentioning. Uh, so then uh, when we uh, talk about quality, we are talking about assigning to every proposal through the, through the method that I was uh, just explaining, uh, uh, index from one to five, okay? And uh, um, then we are interested in measuring uh, the impact of treatment on business quality, uh, but uh, we uh, uh, cannot just restrict to those proposals that were uh, submitted, because of course there would be selection bias uh, uh, in so doing when you compare, we compare control and treatment. So what we do is what we focus on uh, a, a variable that we call extensive quality, which ranges from zero to five, zero being no submission, and one to five, the quality uh, index for submitted, uh, for submitted uh, proposals, okay? So uh, uh, this is our uh, variable, our ordinal variable for extensive quality. And again, we uh, conduct uh, a probit uh, uh, estimation, uh, again, distinguishing between full sample and M0 completions, okay? And uh, uh, what we uh, have is this, uh, is this uh, regression, uh, this probit regression, again, focusing on M0 completers. We see that the effects are uh, uh, significant uh, in the, uh, 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 for the same, uh, uh, with the same pattern as it happened for submission. Face-to-face -face in Uganda sample, virtual within for the large country sample. It's not significant in all other cases. So, uh, of course, this is a probit, an ordinal probit, so important to, to see are what are the, uh, what are the, um, Sorry, I'm not getting here. Hey, Fernando, I have a question. Yes, sorry. One both second. in this yes. regression and both in this table and in the one that you showed us before, yeah. the effect of the small country sample is negative and precisely estimated when you look at the full sample, but not when you look at the completers. So that suggests that the selection of the completers in the small sample, in the small country sample is different. Well, uh, 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 well, no, it's not that it's not really the selection. It's the fact that they are they are different. The people from the small country, uh, small countries, are different in how they perceive the situation than uh, than. Uh, um, well, certainly, but my the, question is, about there is sorry, sorry, Oriana, just to interrupt. The, there is no selection here because again, the M zero completers, the selection of this uh, sample is prior to the randomization. No, no, I, I fully understand that. But my question is that the difference between the completers and the non-completers is different in the small and in the large countries. So it's the different if that I'm interested in, mostly because the effect seems to be of the same magnitude and the opposite sign Yes. when you look at the whole sample. Yes. Uh, uh, um, well, what, what, would, what would be the exercise that you were suggesting then? I'm not sure I, I, I understand. No, I don't know how to interpret the findings because if I look at one sample, I find a negative effect. If I look at the other sample, I find a zero effect. Yes, uh, so uh, I don't know either. What I, uh, if, what I, 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 I uh, want to interpret the M0 completers are those that are uh, particularly motivated. And for this, the pattern is what I described. For those that are not so, uh, which is the, uh, includes the full sample, then, the, the interaction in uh, uh, the interaction uh, uh, is uh, uh, um, uh, counterproductive. Okay. So, wouldn't it be uh, more complete to actually have look at the full sample, 
but then interact the treatment variable with the share of steps that they completed. If you take that as a measure of motivation so that you can have basically a continuum of effects depending on how motivated you are. Well, but then if we, if we, no, but, but there is no, there is no, there are no gradation in, in motivation. There's just a zero one. Okay, so you could just interact it with that. But then that, but that, but then if we interact, that's what we are, the, the, I mean, it would be equivalent to just focusing on the M0 completers, no? No, because you could compare the effect on those who call, you call motivated and those you don't, you see? Okay, I'm not sure I, I, I uh, you think that, uh, uh, I mean, it's sixty percent of the sample that you basically forty percent you're chucking away. So yes, yes, yes. But but uh, well, okay. I this this I'm not sure how to answer this. Or to be uh, okay, you, you I'm sure you're right. But I you, no, you are no. saying that that this no, would, would, uh, would provide uh, further further insights that uh, this uh, analysis does not does not provide. Uh, yes, because it would allow you to test for the difference because you have the covariance terms, so you could test for the difference between the effect on the completers and the non-completers. And also you would see the total effect on the non-completers, which you don't see in the full sample because this is a weighted average, right? Yes. So, yes. I mean, eyeballing it, if you tell I me... See, I, see. Oh, no. okay, okay, I think okay. now, now I see, now I understand. Yeah. Perfectly what you're saying. It seems, very good. We'll do that. seems we'll do interesting. We'll do that. Yes, that's a very good suggestion. Thank you very much. You're uh, um, okay, so then, um, 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 then these are the these are the uh, the marginal effects of the probit of the order probit. Okay, where you see that in the uh, there is a very uh, um, uh, nice pattern. Okay, in which the there is a well a, 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 a shift of probability from no submission and low qualities, one and two, to higher qualities for the Uganda sample and for the virtual within large countries. So these are in red, okay? This suggests that therefore the uh, uh, effect of the treatment is, uh, um, uh, is one that dominates in the first uh, order stochastic sense to the full, um, uh, span of of of, uh, of the extensive quality. It's not just submission to sum no submission to submission, but there is an effect on all uh, levels of quality uh, in the uh, effect of the treatment on the uh, on the uh, distribution. Okay, of uh, of quality. Okay, which is which is uh, uh, I think a very nice uh, feature to see because uh, uh, in principle you don't really understand very well. Uh, in the absence of this diagram, whether the effect on extensive quality is just on submission or it is also an effect uh, on uh, quality, okay? Um, okay, so um, uh, then, um, oh, so here I have a problem with the links, I'm sorry, so then I have to do it in the more, okay, so good. Okay, so this is where I was. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the, um, how am I doing with time? I'm having till, uh, Dilip, uh, till um, uh, quarter to, uh, quarter to uh, 40, 30, 35 minutes, no? Yes, you, uh, another 35 minutes, yes. Yes, okay, very good, wonderful. Um, um, okay, so um, very good. So then um, now uh, I'm going to proceed to the uh, uh, second dimension of analysis, which is the network dimension. So uh, the, the first thing we need is to uh, construct the network. Of course, the network is not given to us, okay? We just have information about uh, the uh, communication that takes place in each uh, group through the platform. Um, so we have to construct the, 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 the network. We have to uh, specify who is connected with whom and the weight of that connection. So how do we do it? So the network is defined as follows. Uh, we, for any pair of individuals, I and J, uh, in uh, a particular group, we say that there is a link from I to J if the following happens. I responds 
to an earlier message of J in a particular channel. Remember that the, the communication was structured in channels, okay? Either global or bilateral, trilateral, okay? So I responds to J in a particular channel by writing subsequently in the same channel where J wrote in the first place, okay? So when this happens, we interpret there to be some flow of communication from uh, uh, J to I and I responding to it, okay? Uh, then uh, uh, every such instance is given uh, uh, a bit of communication, okay? So then what is the weight of a link between I and J? Is the uh, number of sentences involved in the message originally sent by J, okay? So uh, the uh, link from I to J has the weight given by this number of sentences. What is the, uh, so this is for every link from I to J, but then we want to measure the aggregate interaction flowing from I to J, and this is what we call M sub I J. This is uh, identified with the aggregate weight of all links uh, identified from I to J. Okay, so then uh, what we have at the end of the construction is a matrix of MIJs um, specifying the weight of the interaction from I to J. We normalize this matrix by making uh, the matrix be uh, row stochastic. So it's normalized all its rows to uh, uh, add up to one. And this we call the adjacency matrix of the network, okay? Um, naturally, this is just one way in which we can, construct, we can construct the network. We could do it in other ways. We could have the network be uh, uh, constructed as a binary network so that the weight either exists or not exist. We could construct the network as being bidirectional. Where the weight of a, of a link uh, is the sum of the flows going one way and the other. Thirdly, we could construct, a, a, we could define a link from I to J only if the delay between the first message written by one and the response by the other is not too large as given by some parameter. So these are different possible ways of extracting a network from the information that we have. Well, uh, we have done, uh, we have explored these different variants and uh, the results are uh, essentially uh, unchanged. So um, I will, uh, maintain the uh, specification that I explained at the beginning as the um, uh, formulation that we will carry uh, through with our analysis. Okay, uh, is this Fernando. Uh, yes. So yeah. So two clarificatory questions. One is, uh, what do you do in a face-to-face -face network? How do you no, uh, actually network, observe communication? Okay. Yeah, the face-to-face -face network is is not considered for the network analysis. We cannot. We don't have any any yes. uh, any okay. any information on that. Okay, and in the virtual networks, I mean, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually the way we think about links in a network is distinct from communication. Uh, uh, you, a link is a pre-existing connection between people, uh, whereas communication is an actual act, which is carried out with people that you are connected with. So, well, yes. Uh, really. No, 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 really, the, the, I mean, the, the, the here, so this is a network that is not exogenously given, so it's not pre-established, pre, pre okay? It is endogenous. And really the connection is uh, 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 whether, so for example, if you and I are in the same group, okay? Uh, uh, there is a link between you and I if you take the initiative in talking to me or vice versa. Otherwise, uh, uh, we are not connected at all, okay? We are, uh, we are uh, unrelated in every sense because the only thing that can really uh, uh, bring any influence between you and me uh, is the communication. So this is like the endogenous sort of inducement of communication networks. Exactly. By the experiment. That's, that's what you're dealing with. Here. Well, we are Rather not than... inducing. We, we, we are not we are not uh, we are not uh, uh, promoting any uh, particular uh, link okay or, or or links okay we are just simply leaving them to uh, freely decide with whom they want to link yeah okay okay and this is what uh, uh, so it's endogenous so in fact 
One of the important things that we'll have to take care in the econometric estimation of network effects is the fact that the network is endogenous. Okay, so we'll have to really take care of that. Eh? It's not an exogenous network; it's an endogenous one. Okay, so uh, uh, okay, so here is pre precisely what uh, what I was referring to. Okay, so we want now to identify network effects, peer network effects, and for this uh, the identification of these effects, there are three types of issues that we need to tackle. Okay. One is the reflection problem that is very well understood, uh, uh, first raised by Mansky. Second is the fact that the peers' outcomes are not exogenous but endogenous. So one and two would, take, would be issues in a given network of the sort that you were describing, uh, uh, um, Dilip. Okay, but then we have a third complication which is that the network is not exogenous, but it is endogenous, okay? So how do we address these issues? Well, to address the first two, uh, we follow uh, uh, what is by now a rather well-established methodology, for example, uh, followed by and proposed by Bramouillet and co-authors, which re relies on the irregularity, uh, incompleteness of the network to, be, to use this structure to uh, uh, have higher order uh, uh, peers. So that higher order peers means those peers that are at distance two or more from you being instruments for the outcomes of the first order peers, okay? Uh, uh, the reason why these uh, uh, second order uh, 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 neighbors, second or higher order neighbors can be used as instruments is under the assumption that all influence has to be mediated through the network. So if they are not direct network, direct neighbors, then their influence on any particular agent can only be conducted through the direct neighbors, okay? And therefore uh, they uh, satisfy the uh, exclusion restriction. So uh, this is to address one and two. What about uh, addressing three, the endogeneity of the network? Well, what we do, and this is, uh, uh, we are not, uh, we are not, uh, uh, first to do it, uh, there has been uh, two or three uh, recent papers that have uh, done this uh, in the last uh, one or two years. We uh, model network formation, uh, postulating uh, that uh, the uh, network formation can be uh, partly, uh, but sufficiently well understood as a consequence of homophily in some individual characteristics, okay? So then we endogenize in this way the endogenous network, and therefore can filter away whatever there is in the estimation that is associated to the uh, network formation. So, uh, econometrically, what we do is we conduct a three-stage regression specification, okay? Uh, where uh, the, third, the three stages are as follows. First, we uh, take care of the endogenization of the network by, uh, um, uh, uh, conducting a negative binomial regression, eh, count data regression, uh, uh, that regresses the um, uh, weights of each possible link on uh, characteristics uh, of the individuals and the similarity or diversity of these characteristics, okay? So here, what is underlying this uh, estimation is the idea that people that are similar in some characteristic will tend to be connected more likely than otherwise. Okay. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the the first uh, the first uh, stage of the regression. So in uh, uh, with this first stage, we uh, obtain a, a prediction uh, of the uh, uh, adjacency matrix that we called G hat. Uh, that we take to the second stage. The second stage uh, and the third stage are just uh, uh, standard by now. The second stage is just uh, the one that uh, is used to instrument the outcome of neighbors through higher order uh, uh, neighbors. Okay, the, 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 what, what I, what I uh, explained uh, 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 a while ago. So then uh, uh, we, uh, uh, by doing that, we obtain a prediction predictions uh, uh, of both the uh, network and the outcome of uh, uh, neighbors, okay? And then we go in the last stage 
to uh, uh, estimate the PL effects, the beta here in this uh, regression, uh, through an order plot. Okay. Uh, is this clear what we're doing? Uh, Fernando, yeah, could you just clarify that what is the meaning of first neighbor and second neighbor? Yeah, first neighbor, okay, so, uh, uh, so you are my first neighbor and we talk to each other, okay? Uh, so uh, Sujata is, for example, my second neighbor if uh, she talks to you, but she doesn't talk to me, okay? And if, uh, if so th there, is a, there is a path of length two between Sujata and myself. Okay, if there is a path of, or, uh, so this is second order neighbor. Paths of higher length would be higher order neighbors, okay? So all the communication is bilateral. There's no, nothing like a public chat session. No, no, there is, but then, but then from that, from that, uh, from that uh, uh, public uh, uh, chat session, we infer bilateral links in the way that I described. So if you write in that chat a message, and I respond to it by writing in the chat after a certain period, okay? I interpret that there is a flow of communication in both directions, okay? So, so even if Sujata was in the chat when you and I uh, communicated with one another, Sujata is still a second neighbor because she didn't participate actively in the communication, is that the idea? Because the, we, we, interpret, we interpret that if Soyata has not given evidence of being active, mm -hmm. we take her to be inactive. Okay? okay, we don't have evidence of. Of course, it is all. Uh, it, it is debatable. Okay, I mean it's imperfect. It's an imperfect way of estimating the network. Uh, but uh, 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 it uh, reflects things that should be relevant. Okay, consideration that should be relevant. But of course, there's a, there could be an effect where Sujata having participated in the chat has heard what you and I have discussed and is affected by it relative to somebody who is not present in the chat. I guess you can't monitor whether or not people were present in the chat. No, we cannot, yeah. we cannot. Okay. I mean, uh, you see, if, uh, if I, if I uh, have the chance of, uh, of redoing this experiment in the future, I would be much more uh, uh, much more um, uh, defi definitive, okay, about definition, about 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 uh, having the individuals communicate, and therefore being able to identify the network much more, uh, uh, much more accurately. Okay? Here, it's a second or third or fourth best way of interpreting the eh, flow of communication, and therefore the network. Okay? Can I okay. can I ask something related? Of course. To Is the topics that these people are discussing? How many of them are just topics that are relevant to them privately as opposed to something that's more relevant to everybody so that potentially many people could be talking about it at the same time and we could be responding uh, not just to one person but to the fact that three people said something and then I respond but it's not I'm you know the timing of when I respond is not necessarily indicative that I'm only responding to you I could be exactly. responding to no, no, it is, it is, no yeah yeah no there, there is a lot of there is a lot of noise in the, in how we okay no no I I, I cannot uh, I cannot disagree with you okay there is a lot of noise we you see the one thing that we will do in the future but uh, we haven't done is to do this, to, since we have all the messages, okay, use that not just to understand what sort of communication is taking place, but use that to identify the network more uh, accurately as well. Okay, so if, for example, I write after you have written on using words uh, that are uh, uh, similar uh, and that are not common words, then it's much more uh, uh, it's much more likely okay, that I'm responding to you than if I'm talking about something unrelated okay, in terms of um, terms that are being used or, or the like, okay, unrelated to things that you wrote, okay? But that we are not uh, doing so. Okay, so this is, a, this is, again, this is an imperfect way of uh, uh, capturing the network, okay? But let's see what it, what it delivers, okay? Let's see what it delivers, okay? That's what we are, I'm, I'm coming to it now. Okay, so now here are, these are the results for the, um, peer network estimations, okay? So, um, uh, okay, so what do we find? Well, we find that uh, for um, 
um, uh, okay, so here I, in, in, this, in this table, there are two uh, columns or two pairs of columns. One is for panel A is for the weighted um, identification of the, of the network, where the weights matter. And panel B is for the unweighted, where the, the, the network is binary, binary. So the link either exists or does not exist, okay? Uh, uh, interestingly, uh, the pattern that we observe is, uh, uh, is uh, the same in both cases, okay? Of course, not the magnitudes, but the, the pattern is the same. And what is this pattern? This pattern is that basically in all cases, in all arms and for all outcomes, uh, network effects are positive and significant with only one exception, okay? And this, these cells here. And this, the exception is the virtual across uh, treatment uh, for large countries on extensive quality. Okay, virtual across, large countries, extensive quality. So only in this combination of uh, features, the peer effects are not significant. In all others, there is a peer influence, at least as we measure it, on your, of your peers, on yourself, okay? Uh, be it uh, uh, virtual within, virtual across, be it large countries, small countries, be it extensive quality or uh, or uh, submission, okay? So, uh, okay, uh, since I'm not going, so, so this is the, I had also some, the, some information on the network formation. So you see the network formation, the first stage, you see what we do here is we basically uh, 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 use as regressors, these are the main uh, homophily regressors, okay? Whether two individuals have the same characteristic, so this is the indicator of uh, Xi equals Xj, or the difference between their characteristic, for example, if we are talking about age or score or something else, okay? So these are the main regressors, homophily-based regressors that underlie our first stage of uh, network formation, okay? Anyway, so I proceed then. Uh, um, okay, uh, okay, I still have 15 minutes, so then let me uh, 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 try to be uh, effective in the presentation. Let's see, so uh, uh, what is the, what is the uh, uh, how can we summarize? what we have learned so far, okay? So this is tries to be- uh, a, Fernando, uh, just a brief question about, so which do you think are the relevant excluded instruments in the, in the first stage or the IV? I mean, I would imagine a lot of these characteristics would also have a direct effect. Well, the, 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 here the, the characteristic, uh, the, here the, the excluded uh, 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 distinction here is the assumption that uh, whether you are uh, a man or a woman, whether you are uh, young or, uh, or uh, uh, old, does not have per se an effect on the outcome. But whether you are a man or a woman uh, affects the uh, likelihood that you will connect to a man or a woman, et cetera. Okay, and this for all the characteristics. This is, a, this is a, a, an assumption that uh, uh, I think it's a reasonable assumption, okay? It's not a perfect assumption, but it's a reasonable assumption. And, uh, you know, in terms of age and gender, it's not particularly salient in a virtual communications setting, right? Uh, why do you think these, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that these have uh, predictive power. Uh, well, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, it can be the language that they use. Uh, they, for example, there are very different, different uh, uh, ways in which uh, uh, men and women write, and there is, we have evidence about that in, 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 in uh, NLP uh, analysis or age. Um, uh, there is also some uh, uh, talk about the characteristics that, that uh, the other individuals have when they chat. So they, do they know? Do they know the let's say the age or the gender of other people in their group? <clears throat> A priori, they don't. Okay, only if they exchange this information. 
there is, uh, there is a, uh, um, I forget now, I should have really reviewed this. We, we, did, we, did, uh, we did an analysis, I forget exactly now uh, uh, how we did it, so I'm not going to try to, to reproduce it here, as to whether these characteristics had an effect, um, whether they were good instruments, okay? Uh, but I forget now exactly what we did, okay? Uh, so I'm not going to try to reproduce it here, okay? Okay. But there was a, uh, this has been, this has, I mean, as, as I said, uh, they are, they are, this is not uh, uh, novel. Uh, there are uh, a couple of papers that have been doing it uh, 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 recently. Uh, There's a paper by Senu and others and uh, Michael Koenig and others that have done it and do the same sort of uh, test that we do. And they conclude that it is a good, uh, they are good instruments for, for this, uh, for this, um, for this uh, purpose, okay? But I will, okay. I, I will have to, to be able to be more specific about that. Anyway, so that's what we do. Uh, uh, then um, um, what, um, what, what, what can we conclude uh, from what we have uh, uh, explored so far? Well, um, the, that national homogeneity or heterogeneity in the interaction matters, okay? So national homogeneity occurs in face-to-face uh, -face, uh, or uh, virtual within uh, 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 arms in large countries. National heterogeneity with virtual across uh, uh, interaction either from large or small countries. Okay, and then uh, we see that uh, for uh, virtual within uh, uh, either in uh, large countries and in Uganda, there is a positive effect of the treatment on both submission and uh, environmental, uh, environmental, extensive quality, excuse me. <laughs> and there are uh, positive uh, peer effects on both submission and quality. Instead, in uh, mixed nationality groups where there's national heterogeneity, the treatment is not significant either on submission or quality. There is positive effect of uh, peer influence on submission, but uh, uh, the uh, uh, peer effect on uh, quality is mixed in that it is only significant in small countries, not in large countries, okay? So what are the, what are the insights and what are the open questions that this uh, 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 raises? Okay, so uh, I would summarize it as follows. Uh, on the one hand, and this is the, the first uh, bullet point, in most cases, the network breeds conformity through peer influence, okay? So why do I say that? Because in most cases, only the exception I mentioned, the peer effects have a positive significant sign, okay? And the peer effects having a positive uh, significant sign doesn't mean that the effect of peer interaction is positive in terms of performance. It just means that there is conformity pressure, okay? There is, if you want, uh, a, a coordination type situation that can arise, okay? And then uh, there is this exception, virtual across in large countries where this conformity is not uh, arising uh, concerning uh, extensive quality. Why? Well, could it be, this is a, this is a question, okay? Is, could it be that this hybrid environment is confusing? And in particularly, it is confusing for large large country entrepreneurs? Okay, so I leave it as a question. Uh, uh, second uh, uh, bullet point, okay, concern the treatment, and we find that uh, uh, treatment is effective only under national homogeneity. That is, uh, it seems that the uh, homogeneity in peer interaction, as opposed to heterogeneity, leads to distinct norms to arise, okay? Conformity is always there, but conformity works one way towards the good in a sense, in homogeneous environments, but uh, uh, against uh, performance in heterogeneous. So, okay, so these are questions and, uh, and questions, okay? Why, why, why? Well, uh, uh, it, we, can, we, we cannot really be sure, but we can try to uh, uh, shed light on these questions by uh, conducting uh, analysis of what we have yet not been using, which is the communication, the messages. And what we do therefore is to conduct uh, an NLP type 
semantic analysis of the vast flow of communication that takes place throughout the intervention. Over 140,000 messages sent throughout these two and a half months of interaction. So by way of illustration, we may hope to shed light on the following questions. For example, given the, and these two bullet points correspond to the two bullet points on questions that I uh, 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 brought up before. The first one is, given the prevailing force towards conformity, is it that the homogeneity of, of interaction that takes place in the virtual within arms leads to more cooperative encouraging norm? The second, is heterogeneity, which we uh, see is more disruptive in terms of peer effects in large countries, more disruptive for entrepreneurs that are country-centered because they, are, they belong to a large country and they have many other uh, individuals with whom they can interact than for uh, 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 small countries. And this finally is what underlies the fact that in virtual across uh, a dysfunctional norm starts to uh, 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 settle, okay? Not having in the end a positive treatment effect on performance. Well, these are questions that uh, 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 we can try to uh, address. Uh, and um, well, I was going to describe here, summarizing the uh, steps that we do that are standard in conducting this NLP analysis. I will not do that just for in the interest of time. Uh, let me just uh, 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 outline two results that we get from this NLP analysis, okay? Uh, and they are, in a sense, very, very uh, not surprising. They are very intuitive, but I think they are reassuring as well. So uh, we get these two conclusions, okay? Uh, and this is still very preliminary. We are not really conduct, have not conducted uh, uh, this analysis thoroughly, but what we have these conclusions that I think are suggestive. One is that as what what would, what one one would expect uh, throughout high performers in terms of submission and quality use messages that are strong uh, in. Um, uh, con business content. Well, so, so I, I should have. Sorry, I, I should backtrack because I, I didn't uh, explain the previous the previous slide, which is important. How do I? How do we get the the semantic content of messages? Okay, so I will just do a little one second. Uh, so the way in which we do it is we have these messages. Okay, these uh, uh, hundred forty thousand messages, and uh, what we do is first we code uh, uh, by humans a sample of them, a small sample. Then this coding in terms of uh, characteristics, in our case, for uh, would be what is the uh, business content or business focus on this message? What is the sentiment of this message? Is it positive? Is it negative? What is the audience of this message? Is it a, a message that is uh, directed to everyone in the group or just a particular individual? So you code this, you code this, uh, this, uh, these features uh, first uh, by humans. In a, sub in, a, in a small sample, and then you uh, use this as a seed for an algorithm that expands this labeling to all the uh, universe of messages in the full uh, uh, set of messages set. Okay, so we we doing that. Okay, we get. Uh, I go. I go back to this. Uh, uh, what I was saying. We use. Uh, we, we conclude, and this is point uh, uh, item A here. Uh, that. Uh, as you would expect, high performers use messages that are strong in business content. They are low in sentiment. Okay, they, they are not really overtly optimistic or positive or encouraging, and typically uh, uh, are uh, directed to a specific individuals rather than uh, 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 the group as a whole. This is about high performers. Low performances, low low performers display an opposite pattern. Okay. That's one observation. A second observation is that uh, across all messages uh, and entrepreneurs, messages uh, the, that are high in business uh, content are low in sentiment and vice versa. So in other words, being uh, very business focused 
tends to be low in sentiment and vice versa, okay? So uh, I'm looking at the time, I'm uh, going uh, a, bit, uh, 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 a bit short. Okay, so I could, uh, uh, I have some diagrams here that show this, okay? Uh, but I will, uh, I don't have time to do this. So let me just go to the, um, Okay, so by A and B, okay, uh, uh, which are intuitive, as I was saying, reassuring, uh, 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 I think we can uh, um, uh, put forward the idea that uh, the, there is a, a lot to gain by doing a more thorough analysis of the communication to understand and address some of the questions that I was uh, raising early on, uh, that is uh, to understand what is it about different setups, mechanisms that work and uh, what is about others that make it not work, okay? Uh, a reflection of that uh, hopefully can be understood from analyzing the communication that takes place throughout. And a second uh, point that I would like to propose is that uh, if we have that, and if we have some insights about that, then we can hope to use communication, uh, communication uh, moderation, if I may say it like this, as part of the design. Okay, uh, there uh, can be part of the, it can be part of the intervention to uh, intervene into the communication by leading uh, uh, peers to communicate, for example, in a more cooperative or in a more innovative manner uh, than would they, they would do otherwise, okay? And to get insights about this, uh, a thorough analysis of the uh, uh, communication should, uh, should help, okay? But this is still work in, project, in progress and uh, uh, we haven't really conducted that analysis uh, uh, in, uh, in full at all. Let me conclude uh, in the last two minutes I have. Uh, uh, okay, so um, what I would like to conclude from uh, the, uh, the, the, this experiment is uh, that um, on the one hand, this uh, RCT uh, can be seen, we see it as a proof of concept that peer entrepreneur interaction is implementable in a scalable and cost-effective manner, okay? So uh, we did it uh, uh, with uh, uh, moderate uh, uh, moderate cost uh, and uh, it was feasible and it had some uh, positive consequences for some part of the uh, uh, design. Um, it also shows that the uh, impact of the interaction of the, of the intervention depends on uh, the extent of heterogeneity or diversity of the peers involved. While peer network influence breeds conformity in essentially all treatment arms, Peer network in, induces uh, positive treatment effects only uh, in a subset of the situations, okay, and the virtual within interaction. As I said uh, also just a few minutes ago, we think that NLP, NLP uh, tools can not only be used to inform design, to understand the features of the design and the impact uh, that uh, these have, but also can be part of the design. And uh, we also hope that what we learn from this uh, uh, experiment can be used to develop what is for the moment a missing theory of the phenomenon, a missing theory that integrates all the aspects of the phenomenon that I was mentioning at the beginning. Uh, it hopefully will guide uh, the development of uh, future field work on the problem. Uh, this is uh, our first uh, uh, attempt at it. We did things that we would have done differently. Uh, we've learned uh, a lot out of it. And uh, these uh, insights, I think, could be taken to a subsequent, uh, uh, subsequent work uh, on the field. And, uh, and uh, we think that uh, uh, if we can, uh, by this combined uh, use of theory and further experiments, improve the design of peer platforms, these uh, operating as, at a large scale can tap a very high, can tap the very high potential that we believe uh, peer interaction has for innovation and entrepreneurship, which after all is a main 
uh, a main uh, component of growth and development. <clears throat> so I would like to uh, stop here. Uh, I think I'm one minute eh, above the time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Yeah, for being exactly on time um, for a very stimulating talk. Uh, let me open the floor for Q and A. <clears throat> Yeah, I had a I had a couple of questions. I mean, it seems like uh, you're just starting with the NLP analysis. I mean, it seems like it would be an obvious thing to do to try to link the content of the interactions with why you don't find why you find differences in the peer influence for different types of interactions or groups. Have you thought yeah, about but, doing that? No, that, that? That is that is certainly one thing that we 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 plan to do. Yes, of course. Okay, that's what I said when I said about. Uh, uh, using the NLP analysis to shed light on why certain setups seem to work and other setups do not work that, that well, okay? So a reflection of that uh, probably can be uh, gleaned from the analysis of the communication, okay? We, we, we certainly uh, hope to do that, okay? And we are starting with it, but we don't have yet results that we can report. And let me ask one other, other question. I mean, just getting back kind of to the theme of the seminar series about, you know, targeting the poor. Uh, is, is, is the treatment and the peer effects more beneficial for certain types of people? Have you tried to explore that, especially, uh, let's say the, the worst in entrepreneurs, do they benefit more from this measured in some extent? You didn't really say much about how the entrepreneurs were identified in the first place and what prior information we have about their ability or background. Yes, we, we, didn't, we didn't make any prior selection of entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, we welcome, uh, we, uh, we, we welcome the, uh, 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 everyone that was willing to register uh, and uh, uh, conduct all the prior steps like uh, surveys, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the the, the, the uh, profile of uh, the participants uh, is certainly not uh, uh, among the uh, uh, poor uh, because, uh, well, they all had to have uh, access to uh, internet, uh, smartphone, etc. The age of the entrepreneurs, as you would imagine, uh, is uh, uh, relatively young. Okay, the, the median is uh, uh, around 30. Uh, years old. Um, so, um, uh, but uh, they are uh, not established entrepreneurs either. No, they are starting entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs. No, uh, that's what you would expect as well. No, uh, they are. They are also. Uh, there is quite a, 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 a relatively uh, balanced proportion, for example, between genders. No, there is still more men than women, but. Uh, there is like a 60 40 uh, 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 proportion, or, or a little bit less than 40 uh, for, for women, 37 or something. Um, um, and um, there's also some, there's also quite a, quite a diversity in terms of experience. So some, some of the entrepreneurs have had some experience before, uh, others are, uh, didn't have any, uh, et cetera. Yeah, but uh, we could, yeah, we certainly, I mean, I, I would expect that this, this type of, of inter intervention will be most uh, fruitful at uh, this level of starting or uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, starting or aspiring entrepreneurs, no? No, not so much about uh, right? on, on, on establishments, okay, which uh, would have other ways to really uh, take advantage of peer interaction if uh, it is useful. Uh, Diego has a question. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, hi, Fernando. So thank you for the, sure. the presentation. It was it, it was great. I think you did a lot, put a lot of effort in trying to isolate the effects of endogenous networks uh, when you analyze a pure effects. But I was wondering if it is possible to sort of talk a little bit more about the communication channel and in particular whether for the sample of large countries, the there was a, an effect of the intervention itself of the treatment on the number of links that were formed. I think that's a potentially interesting uh, measure of how communication flows, like whether, for instance, grouping people uh, with 
if with entrepreneurs from the same country has a differential impact in the number of links. Maybe, maybe, maybe I missed that because I haven't had coffee yet, but uh, if you can elaborate that uh, a little bit, it, it would be great. Yes, we, we, we did check that. Uh, there, there isn't a, a significant difference uh, uh, across arms in that, in the, in the density of communication. Okay, so of course we, we, did, we did look at that. It, it was an obvious thing to, to, to consider, but we didn't find uh, a significant difference uh, across arms. So it's more, more uh, uh, the, the differences have to uh, be uh, looked for more on the on, on, on what goes through the channels of communication than the, the number of uh, those channels, I would say. Thank you. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around the uh, the experiment, uh, the, the part that deals with the effects on communication. So in the control group, did uh, the people have an opportunity to communicate through a platform, through a virtual platform? No, 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 no. Of no. course, the, the treatment, the treatment is the communication. So the treatment. Yeah, so is you can't identify. So you can't identify treatment effects on communication. No, of course not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's right. So all the, 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 the control population had access to everything except that. Okay, so for example, the course, uh, et cetera, the possibility of submitting, of course, naturally, uh, uh, et cetera, but not the interaction. Oh, so the control group had access to the training. Yes. Is that right? I see. In fact, in fact uh, finishing the training uh, and uh, completing all the stages was a precondition for being able to submit ah, okay. uh, at the end. And uh, in terms of, you know, the effects of uh, pre-existing differences between uh, potential entrepreneurs here, uh, do you have any measure of uh, how connected people were already with you know, with established entrepreneurs. I mean, I can imagine that people with relatively few connections, you know, in their social life, in their everyday life, family or social life, are the ones who would benefit the most from having this opportunity. <clears throat> uh, yes, we, uh, uh, we didn't, uh, so for example, uh, perhaps you are, you are pointing to having uh, characteristics connected, I mean, related to how connected people are uh, uh, yes. as they enter the experiment. Yes. How many Facebook friends they have or something, for example. The, 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 uh, or whether the, in their family or in their extended family or in their neighbor, you know, they, they know somebody who's an entrepreneur. Uh, I, I don't think we, we asked them many things in the, in the survey, but I think we didn't ask that one, okay? We, we, we ask, uh, 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 we ask uh, yeah, for example, how many, how many Facebook friends you have or how many, uh, whether, you, whether you have any experience uh, 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 as an entrepreneur, uh, but I don't think we asked uh, how many uh, 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 entrepreneurs, established entrepreneurs do you know or whether your family has, a, uh, has some entrepreneurs uh, mm -hmm. already. But yeah, but that, that, that would be, uh, why do you think it would be important? Because you would expect a, 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 that those that are, that are relatively um, scarce on these matters would be using the, the network more intensively. That's right, yeah. Yeah, 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 probably, probably. But the other, the other uh, thought I have is, um, you know, I think for young budding entrepreneurs, uh, Mentorship could be very important. So if there was somebody who's established entrepreneurs who are also participating in the network, you know, and providing advice or reacting to questions, you know, as, as we know, when we run summer schools and so on, you know, that's the role. We bring in senior people and they mentor and provide advice and so forth or participate in, in discussions of young people. 
as against uh, a communication system where it's only the young people talking to one another. Uh, yes, no, indeed. Right. I mean, there, there are there are many, probably you know about a few, there are many such platforms already in place. For example, in, in, uh, in Africa, there is uh, uh, a venture, I forget now, uh, they, they, I mean, there are several platforms where they, whose role is to uh, connect uh, aspiring or starting entrepreneurs to establish mentors, okay, in Africa and elsewhere. And of course, this is very important. But since we are interested in isolate, in, in, we were interested in studying peer interaction, okay, uh, we uh, isolated the experiment uh, in this sense, not because we, we think that it is not uh, 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 interesting. I think it is very interesting. And it's complementary in mm -hmm. a sense. Okay? But then, of yeah. course, it would be very difficult to uh, disentangle one thing from the other. No? Uh, but what uh, what there are uh, uh, there, there are basically non uh, uh, in a large uh, scale uh, are uh, peer networks okay of uh, of uh, of interaction uh, and um, and uh, we believe I mean and there is a lot of uh, uh, casual evidence that suggests that this is also very important uh, uh, when it's a matter of innovation right? not, not about learning. Uh, management practices, of course, not, not that, no, but certainly about innovation, about ideas, about things that can work, about way, new ways of looking at, uh, at problems, etc. No, uh, peer interaction is very important, okay? Uh, at least this, this is our belief, okay? I mean, of course, mm -hmm. it has to be uh, documented and proven, no, but uh, this is our belief. And, um, and, uh, and that's what we wanted to really uh, try to identify whether this really had a, a, an effect, okay? Now, I mean, let me just say that I, I understand that the design is imperfect, okay, for what we want. We, we, I mean, if, as I said, if I am to do another try either in Africa or elsewhere, okay, I will uh, improve the design in many respects, okay? This design is imperfect, okay? For example, in the identification of the network, okay? it is imperfect. There's a lot of noise, okay? Uh, but uh, it's the first step, okay? It's the first step. Uh, and I think, and I honestly believe that despite the noise that we have in identification of several components of the, of the experiment, like the network, but also others, uh, what we find is an, is, a, is an indication that there is uh, uh, something working along the directions that we are suggesting. Uh, and we hope to be able to refine this uh, in the future. Okay, but, I think, yeah, yeah. So I want also to say, just uh, I, I, I close with you. I mean, also there is this, this, uh, this. I mean, something that I think is 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 important for this uh, is the is the proof of concept uh, uh, notion. Okay, I mean, the idea that you can really implement this, uh, and you don't need uh, uh, Facebook or Microsoft to support you financially with. Okay, and you can do it with relatively modest resources. Okay, and if it proves useful. Uh, you can really apply it in a large scale, and even if it is epsilon useful, in a large scale can be very important. Okay, that's what I I, I would like also to propose. Okay, it's important. Thank you. I'm sorry for this. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, all right, so that concludes the our first very successful seminar. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <clears throat>